what everybody calls a black box is actually two orange flight recorders. Hello everyone and welcome back to No Arrow. So as the title says in this video, we are going to talk about the flight recorders used in the aircraft. We will begin with how and when the concept of black box came into existence. Then we will focus on the function of black box followed by its components. And lastly, I shall conclude this lecture with its types. So let us get started. A black box is a device that records the conversations of the pilots and logs flight data. In fact, there are two separate equipments, a CVR and a FDR. Both of them are mandatory for all commercial aircraft and corporate jets. So back in 1950s, when the first commercial jet had five accidents, the investigators realized how useful it would be to have a record of what is happening on the plane. Therefore, early generations used flight recorders which etched the data on the metal foil and by 1970s, they switched to magnetic tape recorders and by 90s, solid state memory chips. But the overall concept has remained the same. The CVR preserves the recent history of the sound in the cockpit including the conversations of the pilots. It stores the last two hours of sound from the cockpit in four different channels. Whereas the FDR preserves the recent history of the flight through the recording of dozens of parameters collected several times per second. It captures around 1000 different parameters which can store 25 hours of data. So to record all of these data during the whole flight profile, the recorder is switched on automatically as soon as one engine is running and it stops 5 minutes after the last engine is shut down. These flight recorders are useful for every case. Besides, no two aircraft accidents are the same, provided that these recorders survive the crash and they usually do. The FDR CVR are always located in the empennage section of the aircraft. They are installed near the tail of the plane to improve the chances of surviving the crash because it is the last part of the plane to impact. A solid state flash memory is used as the recording medium and the memory board is kept in steel or titanium cases surrounded by materials that protect it from high temperatures. Additionally, an underwater locator beacon is also mounted horizontally with the crash survivable memory unit that activates underwater. It is equipped with a battery that has an expected life of 6 years. It sends an ultrasonic signal every second for 30 days. It can transmit from the depth of 6000 meters. Although with the advancing technology, new systems propose not to leave the data on the plane but rather transmit it in real time to either satellites or ground stations. The black box unit in the market are passed through series of extreme tests designed to simulate the real life crash situations such as crash impact, static crush, fire test, deep sea immersion test, salt water submission and even pin drop test. So now let us discuss the anatomy of a CVR. It consists of a sashi and the front panel with printed wiring assemblies. Aircraft interface printed wiring assembly audio compressor printed wiring assembly and acquisition printed wiring assembly with the crash survivable memory unit and the beacon. These are the following functionality features of a modern CVR. It has a high quality audio recording for up to 2 hours into 4 channels. There are 3 voice channel inputs operating within the frequency of 150 to 3500 Hz. One cockpit area microphone input operating on the frequency of 150 to 6000 hertz a 32 megabyte of dedicated data link recording memory a dedicated arenic 429 a high speed data link input and 24 volt dc power input now these flight recorders are intentionally painted orange but still referred to as black box in public the prime reason for painting the device in orange is that the device must be easily traceable in the aftermath of a plane crash. These devices are also pasted with stripes of reflective tape which are very helpful in locating them when a plane lands over water. After the recorder recovery, 
the crash survivable memory unit is extracted from its crash protection housing for data recovery and further investigation so i hope you find the video informative hit the like button and share it with your friends to enhance their knowledge and understanding of the flight recorders see you all in the next lecture